I've never seen such beautiful plants. Oh, and the scent of the flowers. And such a funny color. Well, really. What have you got, Tabaluga? Somehow everything looks different here to the rest of Greenland. Whenever I've come here, I felt there was something magic about it. Nonsense. It's just the rich volcanic soil. Uh, that's only a common sort of caterpillar. You find them all over the volcano. That's it. Enough. First this rabbit comments on my size. Then this green monstrosity says I'm a funny color. And now a common garden mole calls me common. <laughs> I'm very sorry. You see, Happy and I haven't been here before. Ah, tourists! Come on, Tapanooga. I'll race you to the top. Uh, the crater's not safe. <laughs> Hey, Tabaluga, remember, no flying. Oh, quick, stop them. I'll follow as fast as I can. Careful. Hey, look. <gasps> Thanks. I can't see the bottom. I wonder how deep it is. Perhaps I should fly down and take a look? No, no! You mustn't! It's much too dangerous. All the old stories say the volcano will erupt with fire again one day. I can't see anything happening. <sighs> Did you hear that rumble? Oh, I tell you, the volcano doesn't like intruders. Don't worry, Digby. We're leaving. But first, just look. Isn't Greenland magnificent from up here? I've had enough of that interfering dragon. Show me something interesting. Like how Greenland will look when my latest plan for its final destruction is fulfilled. I'd enjoy that. The crystal will only show the future if it chooses. Well, it had better choose right now or I'll have it recycled. Wait. It is permitted for me to tell you your plan will certainly bring a great empire to the brink of destruction. To the brink? <laughs> then just a little push would finish it off. Of course, that will be your choice. Excellent. Hmm. Well, I won't spoil the show by insisting on a preview. Instead, I order the crystal to show me how my plan is progressing right now. The crystal obeys its master. I can see my snow throwers have nearly reached the Greenland border. Excellent! <laughs> They'll soon be ready to start firing. Oh no, look how they're throwing them onto the stack. Imbeciles! Don't they know those snowballs are filled with my new secret formula? Careful, fools! Look out! It'll explode! They can't hear you, Arctos. No, oh, I know, I know, I know! Oh, thank goodness it would have been a tragic waste of my formula if it had burst. I can see the firm hand of command is needed. Fetch my Arctoplan! I feel much safer down here. I'd still like to have a look at the bottom of the crater. I'd have had a very close look if you hadn't caught me in time. Oh, something's frightened them. Hey, look at that cloud. Maybe a storm's coming. That's not a storm cloud. It needs a closer look. Meet you all back at Nasaya's. Be careful and hurry back. I see you've started without me. But the guards were so eager and fidgeters, and you didn't say that we couldn't. Take that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Hmm. I suppose they're exerting themselves for once. Well, do them good to lose some weight. 
Look how efficiently everything works. It's always so gratifying to witness the patent manifestation of your genius, oh, superior one. Yes, yes, I know all that. <laughs> your new secret formula is an undoubted masterpiece. Naturally. Soon, Greenland will be plunged into perpetual darkness, and the frigid fingers of winter will grip the land. James, have you been reading my copy of It Pays to Increase Your Word Power or something? <laughs> How did you get so isolated? One genius around here is enough. Maybe I should freeze you. Uh, no, no, please don't, Isinus. Mm. <gasps> look, look, behind you. Where, where, where? There, up in the sky. <laughs> Give me my portable telescope. If you're trying to fool me, it's a double icing for you. Ooh. Who would believe it? It's that interfering dragon again. Attention! New orders! See that green blob up there? I don't like the look of this happy... A fluffy oh. breeze for the crew that hits it. Five fluffy breezes. Oh, virginity. What generosity. Mention five in the sign, one between the lot of them. And make sure it's small. I knew Arctos was up to something. Look how thick and black it is. And I see. Oh, my ears are freezing. Oh, oh that's better. You're centrally heated, you know. <laughs> of course. All dragons are full of. Whoa! Fire. That's it, get him! Watch uh -oh. out! Time we were leaving. Get him, you fools! Oh, missed! Uh -oh. Missed again! Uh -oh. Faster, you sluggards! Faster, he's getting away! <laughs> now you've lost him! Fools! Imbeciles! Oh dear, no one's won a fluffy face. That's true! Every cloud has a silver lining! Or should I say, a deep, dark, black one! <laughs> oh, the cloud has made everything like winter! This frost will destroy the plants! Even the lake's frozen! Let's go for a slide! We haven't time! Look, Nasaya, here they come. I hope he doesn't land on the ice. One little slide wouldn't hurt Tabaluga. Hooray, well done. You bring us joy in the midst of our gloom, Tabaluga. But what news of Arctos? Has he caused the cloud? Of course he has! Can't you blow away the cloud with your fire, Tabaluga? Yes. Maybe if Tabaluga were as big as Tyrion. I can't help being small. He's not that small. There may be another way, but it would be even more dangerous. I'm not afraid. Tell me what to do. The heat of the volcano might destroy this cloud. It must be persuaded to erupt. How can I get the volcano to erupt? Yes. Not by yourself, but there may be a way. The old tales tell of a race of ants who knew the secrets of the volcano. If they can be found and persuaded to help us. That's easy. I'm friends with the ants. You remember how Tabaluga helped Queen Lisbeth and her people? Yes, of course. But these ants are very different from the ones Tabaluga has met. Even today, the powers of the volcano make the creatures living on it appear different. I said it was magic. Shh! The ants in the stories were bigger. And, if you like, more magical because they lived deep down inside the volcano, close to the source of its power. Further down than any creature from our world has dared to penetrate lay a great hidden fortress guarded by fearsome warrior ants. 
they paid no heed to the petty squabbles of the world above. You mean they took no notice of Aftos? Shh, shh, shh. Their lives were dedicated to their queen. They loved and yet feared her. Why did they fear her? Because she alone knew the secrets of the volcano. At her command, it would wake, sending its fire and molten rock bursting forth into the world above. And now I shall tell you what you must try to do. Go down into the crater, find a hidden fortress of warrior ants no one sure exists, persuade their queen to make the volcano erupt by magic. Oh, does Nasaya really expect us to do all this? That? Me, not us. Oh, don't start that again. I only agreed to take you with me if you waited on the outside. So that's that. Then I'll freeze. Oh, just look how frosty it You're is. Snow here. Whoops. Ew! Oh! Ouch! Oh! I told you it was frosty. Ouch! Something pricked me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you think so? Not you, silly. That huge ant! Strike again, dragon, if you dare. Tamaluga didn't mean to sit on you. It's a good thing dragon skins are tough. You dared to sit on Crown Prince Igor. The insult must be avenged. Uh, hey! Uh, fight, coward! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yow! Oh, I, I hope he's all right. Oh, where am I? My sword! Here it is. Oh, my grateful thanks. Oh, ah. Are you hurt? My leg! I fear it is broken. We must find some twigs for splints. And use this for a bandage. Leave me, friends, to prepare for my death. You won't die from a broken leg. I cannot long survive this frost which came with the sudden darkness. I only spared you, Dragon, because I was already weak with cold. You like the warmth, Prince Eagle? Is it because you live inside the volcano? How did you guess that? I am Tabaluga, and this is Happy. We were sent to find your people. We want your queen to make the volcano erupt and destroy this horrid cloud. I believe my mother has power over the volcano. Your mother's the queen? <laughs> We're saved! I must fly him home in my pouch. I guess I'll have to wait here, then. Oh, you mustn't wait here on your own. I can't fit both of you in. Then I will not go. I'll be all right. Snow hairs like the cold. I shall stay here. Then I'll stay here, too. That looks too narrow for flying. Ooh. It's a tight squeeze. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Now to find the queen. Hey, anyone home? Uh, hello? Hey, don't do that. You'll make me fall over. For strangers who invade our world, the penalty is death! Uh, uh, don't go on. Just show me the way. You must be blindfolded. It is the law. I can't carry you blindfolded. Where's this secret entrance of yours? Or do you want to stay out here and freeze? There! The hidden path to the forbidden lands of my people. Oh, it's, it's a good thing I'm quite small. I do not believe you, Dragon. My son would never surrender. He didn't. I'm trying to explain. Igor needs help. We have heard of the dark deeds of this Arctos. Maybe you are in league with him. It is you who have brought perpetual darkness to the world above. Death to the traitor! Hey, I'm no traitor! Silence! 
Dragon! Your Highness, Prince Igor. Stop, Mother! These creatures saved my life! Are you okay, y Happy? Yes, are you? Is this true? Yes, Mother! Release them! Hooray for the dragon. dragon! I don't believe anything could destroy that dreadful cloud. We must put our trust in Tabaluga. I, I do, but I'm so cold. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. It seems to be getting darker and darker. To think I created that pure genius. Oh, it transcends genius, Isaacs. How true? And that interfering dragon can do nothing about it. Whoa! I didn't really believe the Queen would do it. It's all thanks to Igor she did. And you. You made her realize how bad our toss is. What was that? Uh, maybe your fifth fluffy fleece disagrees with you, Isaacs. Imbecile! Something's up. I, look, Isaacs, the, the, the volcano is erupting. Nonsense! You need glasses. <laughs> how dare it! My beautiful cloud! Stop it! Stop! Stop! It's destroying my beautiful cloud! <laughs> Ruined! <laughs> Look, your frigidity! A cloud of ash! Greenland won't last long when that falls on it! It's coming this way! Frostiness! My beautiful cloud! Oh, I'll make them pay for this! I did warn you, Arctos. Hooray for the Queen of the Ants! Greenland is saved! Hooray! Isn't it great to be warm? You're not celebrating, Tabaluga. It's the volcano. The Queen gave a warning. Once woken, it may not stop. Much could be destroyed. But you can see it's all right. At last, this really is the end of Greenland. I never doubted my dream has come true. No, no, oh. <laughs> The end of Ice World. <laughs> save us, oh frigidity, save us! Oh, I suppose I have to do everything. Wait for me, Iciness. Get those machines working. Ice that volcano. Doubted for a minute your plan would work. Cease firing! Oh, frigidity, I'm lost for words. You saved us all. Yes, I did. Didn't I? He did? Oh, I bet Arctos thinks he's been really clever putting the volcano out. He won't feel so pleased when he realizes he saved Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I do hope those poor ants are all right. That's what I'm going to find out. Oh, <gasps> look at that. It must be melted snow. Hey, 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 hey! Is everyone safe? Yes. The lava plugged the crater before the water reached the fortress. What does the queen say? She's delighted. We've never had enough water before. Oh, it's crystal clear. 
Uh, and it's warm, too. Centrally heated. I'm going swimming as soon as my leg's better. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Ah. Looks like you'll have plenty of company. Maybe the ants will come and tie them up like they did to you, Tabaluga. No, no, no. Mama says we're part of Greenland now. Everyone's welcome. Bah! I know this place and end up a tourist trap. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>